Good morning, everyone. It's Lonnie. Welcome back to the shed. It is Monday morning after a uh, holiday weekend. And Candace is here answering some emails first Good morning. up. Morning, Candace. Mm -hmm. And Pippin is sacked out down there. I changed the garbage bag as soon as we came in and it scared him. But mostly, I think he's just. He's lazy right now. <laughs> morning, Pip. Uh, got a busy day today. Um, on my side of the shed uh, we have well I told y'all that I was putting everything on sale in my second account and y'all bought all of it at least I'm, I'm assuming that it was all all you guys so thank y'all very much 51 out of 55 items sold on that store uh, which is pretty that's pretty amazing <laughs> it also means there's a lot of packing I think I have 30 like 34 items going out on uh, the main account. So I've got a total of 85 items. Will I get them all packed today? Maybe. Um, fortunately, I have two-day handling. Nothing has to go out till the 29th. I'm going to get everything I can out today, but nothing has to go out to the 29th. And a lot of this stuff doesn't have to get out to the 30th. But um, yeah, everything that's been ordered up to right now is going to either be shipped today or tomorrow just depends on how early my mail carrier gets here so uh we got some work to do let's go pull some orders candace gonna i know candace has a ton of emails over here that she's got to go through and messages on ebay and stuff like that um and then i'm sure she'll get to listing later but uh yeah let's pull some orders okay first up is a couple of garbage pail kids lots let's see i've got gpk9 right here and gpk 22 right here that are going out this one is this one doesn't have many cards in it let's see 22 must have been the last one or something gpk 22 yeah it's got like 26 cards the other ones all had like 54 the reason they had 54 was because i did uh, it made the most sense for my layout collages. I would I did nine nine photos in the collage, which makes a square of, of collage pictures with six cards each. So that's why they all had that kind of strange number. But yeah, you could see the prices these two sold for. Sold a power supply for a camcorder. This is one I tested not too long ago. A cam the camcorder. And this is the reason why a lot of times I'm willing to buy camcorders. First of all, camcorders, especially the Sonys, they usually work. It, it's kind of rare that they don't. Um, but even if they don't, like in this case here, I probably paid five to ten dollars for the camcorder and the the batteries and this and the case and everything. And this ended up selling, this is a higher price power supply, but it sold for $29.99 plus shipping on top. All right, let's go pull a few more. Um, herself the Elf on Pop A Shelf. That all rhymes. This right here. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. I guess that's from the 80s. Then I also had two sterling silver bracelets and these two right here i need to make sure i don't get them mixed up they have different sayings on them or whatever uh jesus loves me and tiny miracle put those in the right order jesus loves me sold for 850 tiny miracle sold for 1550 then michael bought a hat i sold a hat this is a hard rock cafe hat that i listed not too long ago actually ah it's this one right here here we go i'll put that back in a second this sold hard rock cafe save the planet new orleans this sold for 9.99 plus shipping on top so thank you very much michael do appreciate it hope you like the hat then, oh, let me grab one more lot of uh, garbage pail kid stickers. 
lot number 10. These things are going to be gone before we knew it. I only have, what, like seven or eight lots left? So yeah, this lot sold for... Thirty-five, thirty-three plus shipping on top. So let me get these five things packed. Here's the pile so far. It's going to be growing a lot. Uh, Candace is over there handling customer interactions, screw ups I made, stuff that we're selling in a private deal, all kind of stuff going on. All the stuff that never got done before. Okay, I'll put the hats up, and we're going to grab one of the weirder. I mean, I'm not judging or anything, but this is one of the otter products I've ever seen. Otter like the little swimming animal? No, like weirdo. Like, no, I, know, I shouldn't even say weirdo. Unusual. It's unusual. There you go. But who am I to judge? I probably like some stuff other people th would think is weird too. You know what I'm talking about yet? No. The uh, Cryptozoic DC pumps. The little he high heels for the different. Uh, the superhero. Isn't that a little strange? Yeah. Black Canary, Mira, and Batgirl. I've seen them for Disney princesses, which makes sense because they wear heels. Right. I guess some of the DC women wear heels. Okay. Whatever. Like I said, who am I to judge? All right, Black Canary. Um, Batgirl. Well, the, uh, you know what? Actually, from dealing with collectible stuff, I remember there was a um, there were actually collectible high heel shoes back in like the nineties. I can't remember what they're just the right. They had like Victorian style and all that. They had all kinds. Of, it was like it was called just the right shoe or something. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. And but it was one shoe, the right shoe. I think so. So anyway, this order is for these three high heel shoes. Someone is asking if you'll take 25 for one of your lithographs. All right, on the Colima shelf, Little Goddesses Raven. D, it says. Okay, first I'm going to find the Colima shelf. Should still be... Did we take the Colima shelf ah. out? Actually, I think we did. Yeah, okay. Yo, know, I know we but I mean what I mean is we moved it. I hope it's this one. Let me compare the photo. I mean, yep, that is her. $19.99 plus shipping on top for that. Arf, you're tough. We just had a delivery. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. And then Candace, you sold your space woman. Cool with baby archer ajax silver figure spaceman uh smalls drawer this right here very simple this is pretty old i think huh extremely simple figure it's not doesn't have color or anything on it yeah, i think they're from the 50s 50s okay i don't know and that would make sense because i mean it's so simple i don't think they could they couldn't have sold that in the 70s or 80s Nobody would have bought it. And then also from Smalls Drawer, Starcom Loose Action Figure, Shadow Force Sergeant Von Rod. This sold. I had to click on the picture real quick. I think it's this guy with this yeah, helmet. They were made in the fifties. Fifties. Okay. Wow. This sold for seventeen ninety nine. Look how small this is. Seventeen ninety nine plus shipping on top for that. So let me get those three packed up. Okay, uh, while I was pulling those, FedEx Freight showed up. We have a case there that I unboxed into the individual boxes. And then I've got five more cases down here. Showed up on a small pallet. And uh, yeah, box resizers are back in stock. So that's good, right? Yeah, we're about to get them listed or active, I guess. Yeah, just active. Active. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show Candace real quick. Candace is learning all kind of stuff today. She learned how to, just now, she learned how to open a missing mail 
uh, case on USPS because, go ahead. Because the package has been, the status of it stopped on December 12th. It's been sitting, according to the status, sitting at a U USPS facility since then. Um, and yeah, the people messaged um, and asked where was their package. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a fair question. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, uh, I showed Candace how to open that up on USPS website, and then uh, she messaged the customer telling them we did so, and then you also reassured them that if they don't get their package, we'll refund. Yeah, I told them I would update them with any response from USPS, and if the package wound up lost, they would get a refund. Yeah, so that's that's settled. Hopefully, it'll show up. It's a uh, it's not super expensive. It's a what twenty three dollar oh, Wii Sports. Wii Sports, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and now I'm going to show Candace how to update the quantity on um, Big Cartel. So go to products, okay, and then click on that, yep, box knife, and then go to, in, uh, yeah, you can go to um, status, active, Okay, and then go to in stock. Let's make that number, I have 720. Let's make it 650. And later on down the line, we can update that. And then there's all of our shipping prices are there and everything. Then hit save. Then scroll down there and there's a URL. Mm -hmm. Click on that URL and just make sure it looks like it's active. Okay. Yeah, looks like it's good to go. So, box resizers are in stock. So, Candice, you're gonna probably be getting a little well, business. Action, no. <laughs> you're gonna get a little, a little box knife action here probably tomorrow, I would think. Stickers are being produced. Yeah. Correct. Uh, I don't know. That's the next thing we have to we have to call. We have I don't know. Probably. I thought you emailed them. I did. I, I I put the order in. Okay. Uh, I, ha I haven't heard back though. I imagine they're ready. They're usually pretty quick. I use a local place with the little oval stickers that stick on it. I thought you heard back. I, I must have dreamed it. No. <laughs> well, no. He said all he said was thank you, meaning he received the order. Okay. But I haven't heard from since then. Gotcha. Then we also need. We need more of these stickers too. Yeah, but with a new logo, and we we're need them quick. Working on a new logo. So we need them quick. Yeah. That's in the works. Yeah, we're working on that. So we, we've got projects going on here. <laughs> let me pack some stuff. I'm going to let Candace get back to work. All right, let's pull a few more. Uh, this is something I listed just this past weekend. Listed a couple of things. Oh, I think it's right here. Yep, this lock. This is one of those uh, key box locks that realtors use. Sold this for $8.99 plus shipping on top. Then... Garbage Pail Kids Minikin Series 2, Lot of 18, Lot C. Okay, so it's going to be one of these lots here. That is Lot... I can't... I guess that's A? Yeah, that's Lot A. That's Lot B. And this is Lot C. Here we go. Uh, this lot sold for... Fifteen fifty plus shipping on top. Sold a couple of more of these um, religious prints, Catholic prints, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this first one, Madonna of Carmen, right here. Uh, this is going out to Virginia. She said, um, my mother-in-law is very religious and is going to love this. I just started a new hobby called paper quilling. Has some good ideas to embellish this print for Mother's Day. Thanks, guys. I wish you, I wish the both of you lots of success in the future. So thank you very much, Virginia. Hope your mother-in-law loves the print. Appreciate it. And then I sold uh, Saint Vincent de Paul for twenty six ninety nine plus shipping on top. He had a little little thing there on the border, so I made it a little cheaper than the rest of them. Knocked a little bit off the price on that one. I think that's the only two. Yeah, that's the only two prints I have going out today. Let's pull three more. Um, Funko Pop. Oh, well, I guess this is timely. Wonder Woman Legion of Collectors. Uh, Funko Pop from Pop A. Well, 
right here. Dr. Maru, hopefully that's it. Yeah, this is from Wonder Woman. I didn't notice where it said Dr. Maru in the title of the listing there. Let's see, what does it say? Yeah, it says Dr. Maru, okay. $9.99 plus shipping on top for this. Then, oh, GPK 11 sold, Garbage Pail Kids. Yeah, these are really gone, really going. Sold for 30 something, I believe. You can see it on the screen there. Then, oh, uh, Joy bought a car from me. This is a Spider-Man car I just showed in the last video. It's in, uh, it's in perfect condition and it works. So thank you very much to Joy. Appreciate your business again. And uh, yeah, let me pack these up. I've got a bunch of makeup orders too. I'll probably do that after I pack these. Okay, makeup orders are packed. Well, the remaining makeup orders are packed here. Uh, Candace is listing, little dolls. <laughs> then Pippin is down here. He has been chilling today. The only time he got up was, well, actually been kind of busy. Mail lady already came, mail carrier, female already came. Um, and she, she's coming back in a little bit. I said, no, I'm not ready yet. So she's going to hit me on the... She came early for some reason. I don't know why. You got something to say? What's up? Yeah, if there is no weight, does it get to ship for free? It weighs nothing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, we have to use our jewelry scale at that point. <laughs> not really. I'm curious, though. When, will it register on the jewelry scale? Yeah, there is some minimum threshold that that, let's see how many grams, okay, there you go, let's see how many grams it is, 3.7, so weighs less than a nickel. <laughs> what do you put for that? What do you mean? Right. Four ounce. For, uh, first class package costs the same four ounces and below, so it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, I'm pulling uh, some jeans for Robert Chesapeake Picker Rob on YouTube. Um, I sold a DVD the other day titled Take This Job and Shove It and couldn't stop thinking about you and John when I listed it. Good luck to you both now that your wife is part of the business. Thank you. Uh, I remember that movie from a long time ago. Who was in that movie? You remember that, Candace? You, did you see the movie? Okay, anyway, I found the jeans. I have to dig through there for a minute. Uh, those sold for $23.99 plus shipping on top. So thank you very much, Robert, and best of luck with your YouTube channel. Hey, Beth bought some more Garbage Pail Kids stuff. Um, let's see, GPK number 12. It's going to be up here. right here the slot and then she bought she also bought some of these garbage peel kids minikins that i just had my hands on a second ago let's see lot b and then lot this is the other lot yep lot a so thank you very much, Beth. Really appreciate all the business, and I hope you're enjoying your GPK stuff. And one last order on main account. Uh, I have I have a bunch of stuff going out on my soon-to-be-closed second account. I talked about yesterday. Uh, but yeah, this Bible, it's like one of those family Bibles. It's in nice condition. Nothing's filled out. On the presentation page or anything and it's got the pictures and stuff in the middle anyways that's sold to carol who said she is going to add it to her collection of bibles so thank you very much carol and i hope you like this bible okay got the first account all cleared out um as far as getting everything everything's gone from the first account i got everything mailed out on to second account um i started with 55 items 
yesterday and y'all bought everything pretty much i think there are four listings left they're still here tomorrow i'm just going to take them down and we'll relist them on the other account um it's it's not a big deal at this point basically sold the whole store <laughs> yesterday so uh thanks to everyone that bought bought stuff there first one i didn't see a note here but um i'm just assuming the everybody the bought here as a viewer but it, it's not necessarily the case uh but ruth bought let's see five five eleven twelve i think i think that's right yeah ruth bought 12 superbook explorers these are all sealed one two three four five six seven eight ten eleven twelve so those are all there uh, thank you very much to ruth if you're watching and also sold more super books. Oh, I sold one super book to Eric and Shauna. Uh, that is this one right here. Esther, and Esther for such a time as this, uh, the, and the fiery furnace. So thank you very much to you guys. Let's see, there's a note here. Just started selling in this last year and it has been going and it has been great to me. I'm learning a lot from you guys. Thanks again. Please check us out at Pan Handle Picker 8001 on eBay. So thank you very much to Eric and Shauna. Hope y'all enjoy the DVD. And then finally, sold the other four to Samuel, Minnesota Sasquatch on YouTube. Great to see Candace in the shed. Uh, he bought these four. So I was, I'm a little concerned because um, a lot of this inventory has been listed for a pretty good while. Some of it like two years. So I'm a little concerned. I should have done an inventory before I put the store on sale, uh, but I'm really a little concerned that I might not have every single thing. So fingers crossed. So far, so good though. I was worried about the super books and they were there. They're all gone. Got some galactic connections that sold too. I'm looking for, I forgot already. I'm constantly doing this. Okay, GC21. Basically, all of these Galactic Connections are going to be gone here in a minute. But she bought specifically GC21. There it is. I wanted to grab that one because all the rest of them are going to one buyer. So, um... These sold for $19.99. No note that I see unless she sent me a message. Um, but Brenda, thank you very much. Do appreciate your business. Okay, I went and grabbed the rest of them. Because uh, they're all, like I said, they're all going. I did have one more single order. Uh, this GC2, that is going out to Steven. Steven, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Here's the last of the Galactic Connections. There's a total of 13... Um, so I guess, I think it's 13, each one of these little boxes has 100 of the little uh, connections tokens in it. So that's a total of 1300 tokens. Um, these are all going out to David. And he said, I've been a full-time reseller for some time now and I still learn something new every time I watch your videos. So glad you and Candace are working together. Me too, uh, David, because today, I've done nothing but pack and Candace has been accomplishing other things like messages and listing and seven. You got seven so far? Yep. Okay, that's good. Worked on the logo. Uh, new logo. Um, answered a bunch of emails and messages. Yep. Okay. So are you, are you finished listing for the day? Yes. Well, for now, I have to run an errand, and then I may list them when I get back. Oh, okay. okay. I don't know what time I get back. So, today was never going to be a huge listing day with an entire store getting sold out, but Candace got some listing done, which is huge, because getting any listing at all done is, is big every day. Um, and I probably, like, I might list three, four things today after I finish packing, but this like 80-something orders. Uh, but anyway, David is buying these, and he said he's going to resell them 
Uh, I would imagine probably in smaller lots than I made might work out better. Um, on his store, David Bellera, it's B-I-L-L-E-R-A, 2012. If y'all are interested in buying like probably smaller lots of them, that's where they're going to be. So uh, thanks a bunch, David, and I appreciate the business. I hope you do well with these things. All right, I got David's big old box of stuff packed right here. Um, I did get an inquiry from uh, someone in Australia that wanted to buy all those uh, Galactic Connections too before David bought them. And um, I told them, I was like, look, this is going to be really heavy and really expensive uh, to ship to Australia because they inquired about simple export rate. The simple export rate only goes up to four pounds. Uh, this box right here is 30 pounds and it's big. I don't know how much this would have cost to ship to Australia, but my opinion, that would have been cost prohibitive. Like that would have probably been like, I'd imagine, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks to ship to Australia. I, I just don't think there would have been any, any meat at all left on the bone after shipping there. But I do appreciate the offer. Okay, so far I've had everything. Just pulled a few orders out of this box that had makeup in it. some Avon stuff I bought uh, last year at a yard sale. I bought like a, bu a whole bunch of it for 50. This Unlimited Lashes sold to Connie for $6.75 plus shipping. Thank you very much, Connie. If you're a viewer, I didn't see a note there, so I'm really not sure. Uh, Mary Sue, who I know is a viewer for sure, bought this True Color Eyeshadow Quad for $2.99 plus shipping. So thank you, Mary Sue. Appreciate it. And Susan bought this Cashmere Complexion Longwear Foundation for $9.99 plus shipping on top. And then one more. Nathan bought an, the other unlimited lashes that I had here for six six seventy five. Yep, $6.75 plus shipping on top. So thank y'all all very much. I do appreciate it. Okay, let's see if I can find these. <laughs> uh, I've got a glove that's going out. It's a Pete Rose model glove. Not that one. Should have paid more attention. No, that's Ron Say. Let me get this other tray over here. Hmm. Oh, that's a nice, that's actually a nice looking glow there. Triple play. Professional model. I don't see a signature. Uh, guess what? I found it. <laughs> it's right here. I have some random stuff in this drawer. And I happened to think about it. Uh, and yeah, I found it. So thank you very much, Joe. Yeah, that's right. It was Joe. Thank you very much, Joe. Appreciate it. And I hope you like the glove. $9.99. I'll put these back in a minute. Woo! I thought that was going to be the one that got me. <laughs> Jocelyn bought this little Polaroid back here. See if I can get it out without knocking. Huh. Don't knock the monkey over. I think it's... Come on. It's catching on that bag. Get out of there. Ugh. All right, got it. Uh, this Polaroid sold to Jocelyn for some amount of money you see on the screen. Thank you very much, Jocelyn. Do appreciate it. Okay, while I was up, I decided to look at these World War II photos. I found them. I have two of them, and I have two of them going out. This one, two girls walking in snow original photograph this is going out to justin and he also asked a question uh how many days do you list an item for auction is it seven days or less thanks and merry christmas from mid 10 great deals uh so justin thank you very much for the purchase and uh i just list we list um our buy it now they're just well i don't think you have a choice anymore it's like automatically renews 30 it's good till canceled so that's the only choice you have on that now but for auctions uh typically we'll do seven days 
Uh, every now and then I'll do, I've done three days or five days, but usually it's seven days. And uh, we've been trying to put at least a couple of things up for auction every day. Um, I, I think it helps the store and some items I like to do that with uh, in lieu of really researching it too much, <laughs> honestly. So, but again, thank you very much for the purchase. And then sold another photo to Ashley, who did not leave a note, but um, this is what she buy. Oh, girl in uniform in field, original photograph. Yeah, she's in some kind of uniform. I don't know if that's a wave or a, a medical type uniform or what. Thank you very much to Ashley for that. And these, um, I'll just put, I'll probably find some top loaders for these and then drop them in an envelope and put a stamp on them. Okay, Ruth from earlier that bought all the super books, I missed this. Uh, she also bought, well, I hope this is the one she bought because this is the only one I have left. Yeah, she bought my last laser disc. At one point, I must have had 50 of these suckers. And this is the last one. What was this called? Wyndham Hill Autumn Portrait. I guess this is mostly music with scenes like nature scenes or whatever anyway it's it is brand new sealed thank you very much ruth um i don't feel like opening that other stuff up and this is going to be media shipping anyway so i'm going to cover the shipping on this one <laughs> plus you bought a bunch of stuff i do appreciate that um spencer bought a bunch of fishing line it pot b shelf is down here now let's combine with another shelf too so he bought All this Stren fishing line here, various, uh, well, these are all one length and size or whatever. And this is a different one. And yes, I'm going to combine shipping. If I can on those, Spencer, thank you very much. Do appreciate it. Okay, another one I missed. Um, this is going out to David, who bought all those connections. A little vintage Ansco Ready Flash camera. Pretty light. And I think I was fairly far under my limit on that box, getting like under 30 pounds. It was just a little bit over 29. So I'm just gonna, just gonna, and I had space. So I'm just gonna peek under the corner there, pop this in, take out a piece of the uh, void fill paper and should be good to go. Let's see y'all can see, I opened the box up, took out void fill that was right here and sliding the bubble wrapped box in box cam and right there and i'll just seal it back up so thanks again to david all right almost done that doesn't look like almost 51 items does it it's close to 51 it's not quite um command and conquer red alert and the aftermath pc cd sealed sealed this is going out to edward yes Edward bought this and it's over here could be down here I don't think so though could be up here I hope I still have it please oh no I was so close I was so close to having everything wait what is this what is this this is this is sealed this is red alert. This is sealed. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, red alert, arsenal, red alert, and the aftermath. Okay, $9.99 plus shipping on top. Thank you very much to Edward. I thought I thought I, I thought it got me. Like I'm still afraid. The only thing I have left are Batman automobilia. And I think I have them all, but we're about to find out. There's no way I can pull 51 items that have been listed for that long and have all of them. Okay, all that's left to pull are these Batman Automobilia cars. And Nicole bought this one. This little blue Detective Comics 597 Batmobile. It's like a 60s style, I guess. And then Douglas bought three cars. He bought this one. This one was still new in the plastic, as you can see. 
but it did not uh, come with the comic book. And then there are these two other ones here. And yes, Douglas, I'm going to ship as economically as possible. This goes for everyone. And I will um, refund accordingly, for sure. So thank you very much to Douglas for that. And then, let's see, I have two more orders. Gabriel, he bought two things. He bought this. Well, let, me, let me double check. Make sure I got this one right. Yeah, okay. He bought this Batmobile here in the case. And he bought another one. And this is where I lost, I lost orders or I lo my inventory was messed up or something. So I don't have the other car that he bought. So uh, I do have, for some reason, I have two other cars. So I'm just going to throw in a car, make some refunds. I'm going to make the order right. I'm going to make it right. Um, but yeah, I don't have the one that he ordered. So this one was not listed. I'm going to put it with it. And I'm going to make sure that that's not on the other, other account. And unfortunately, I had the same thing happen with Pamela's uh, order. The car that she ordered, I simply did not have. So I'm going to send this as a replacement. And I'll... I'll refund and stuff. I'm going to make that right. Uh, I just can't send the ones that y'all ordered. But, uh, yeah, I apologize for that. I figured it would happen, and I thought it would be on these because I, I kind of, in the back of my head, I knew something was screwy with that inventory, and it was. So let me get these things packed. So I did have, I guess this title, this title was, I think this might be the first time I've ever used clickbait title because I said I sold everything in my store. I didn't. I had four items left. Two hats and two makeups. And I'm going to end them in those listings. And then, okay, that's over. Let me go look. Active items. Zero. Manager, active listing item. Zero. <laughs> so I need to go find out where I can cancel my store subscription. Okay, I found Close Your eBay Store. Uh, you can change your subscription, blah, 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 blah. Select Cancel. Cancel eBay Store subscription. Let's see. Okay, I had the basic store. Build at yearly rate. Renewal date, February 1st, 2021. I wonder if it... If it's going to charge me something, I mean, whatever it charges me, uh, you'll be charged an early termination fee of seven thirty-two. dollars Whatever. That's fine. Uh, I don't sell enough items there. I'll just tell them that. It's not me, it's you. Or no, it's not you, it's me. Confirm. And you successfully canceled your eBay store. Um... Okay, so it looks like I'm good. You'll be billed for your current store until December 31st. You can charge early termination fee, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I'll still have the store, but it'll be gone soon. Oh, these are still showing up. I guess it hasn't refreshed yet. So, oh, look. 6,596 followers on this store and I closed it. Anybody want to buy my store? I'm kidding. I'm not going to sell it. <laughs> There's got to be some value in that, huh, Candace? <laughs> what is that? Security question. What are you looking at? Can't, I turn around and Candace covers the screen <laughs> up. You're not supposed to look at that stuff on the clock. <laughs> it's got my secret answer to security questions. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what she was looking at. <laughs> No, Candace is doing insurance stuff now. So we're about to pay the piper. A lot of y'all asked, what do you do? What do you do since you don't have insurance to work? You buy it and it costs a hell of a lot of money and we're gonna pay it. Yep. And that's fine. That's what it is. So we'll do it. Store's closed. Uh, oh, you know what we need to do every couple of days from now until about a month from now? is log into garage flip store 
and just make sure there's no pressing problems you know what i mean like with orders or anything and then after 30 days is up i ain't never logging in there again unless for whatever reason we end up using it uh so yeah does that look like does that look like 51 items to you look no it's not well it is it actually is the big box has like 14 things in it and then there's 12 super books in that box there and then some of the other boxes have multiple items too so thank you all to everyone that helped me close the store it's done now i feel a little bit empty i didn't realize it had 6596 followers now the other store has i think around 10,000, but i didn't know garage flips had that many hmm. oh also my main store uh that used to be called mean pc changed the name to shed flips it's shed dash flips that's how it's you had to put a dash in there you just couldn't keep it simple huh you think <laughs> i chose to do that i don't know shed shed flips was taken are you serious yeah what it's not that uh, shed flips is taken yeah just like garageflips.com and shedflips.com i can't get those either the the urls so Somebody is cyber somebody, squatting on them. Somebody's buying sheds and flipping them. <laughs> Could be. Or garages. Somebody's cyber squatting on my friggin' domains. And yeah. I'll pay them 50 bucks, maybe 100 bucks. And anything more than that, they keep it. Keep it. Keep it. You don't really need websites, anyways. Nope. Except for my big cartel. I wanted to use it for big cartel, but they didn't give it up. So, or actually, I, I think I tried to get it and I just couldn't. So, anyways. I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, Pippin is not no longer in here with us. Pippin has left the building. Pippin has left the building already. Candace is doing some stuff that doesn't involve listing. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. What? You getting out of here? You going to leave me? Getting out of the video. I still uh, got to edit this thing. Gotcha. So, bye y'all. Bye.